You know, I have children at work here, I have grandchildren at work here, and this is about our future, making sure we get it right. Got a lot of uncertainty out there at the moment. You know, up until this Brexit thing, Morning. the country was doing great, the economy was doing wonderful. All of a sudden, gone completely arse upwards, and we're now in a situation that businesses are starting to suffer because of the uncertainty. On all trades as well. We're a lot of people short, and we is there more? Yeah, we've got a few more down today. We've got 14 in the office and an 18 out in the yeah. world, so yeah, a few more today. Oh, poor fucking hell. Charlie Mullins is de rijkste loodgieter van Groot-Brittannië. 25 jaar geleden begon hij als eenmanszaak en inmiddels heeft hij honderden mensen in dienst. De working class jongen uit Zuid-Londen groeide uit tot self-made miljonair. Maar sinds Brexit maakt hij zich grote zorgen. Every day we get violence come in. Back. 15 or 20 boilers a day. Right, so every day we're dealing with violence. The biggest selling boiler we've got, and we believe it's the best, comes from Germany. And the boilers have gone up 10%, and that's obviously going to cause us a problem. About a month after the Brexit, I received letters from the suppliers saying that because of Brexit, they're going to be a price increase, mainly because the pound went down. It all has to be imported. Oh, yeah, it's all imported. I don't think we have anything that's made here in the UK. And I've got them parts. De baas is niet te beroerd om in zijn peperdure bolide nog af en toe een douchekop te bezorgen. De gevoelige Brexit-rechtszaak maakte van hem een landelijke bekendheid. Hij vond dat hij iets moest doen en investeerde meer dan 100.000 euro in advocaten om de regering tot de orde te roepen. Want hij wil niet dat de premier, maar het parlement bepaalt hoe Brexit eruit gaat zien. En door zo openlijk de strijd aan te gaan, maakte hij veel vijanden. This is Billy here. He was my personal trainer. But now, because of all the problems we have with Brexit, we're having to use him as a bodyguard. Um, so everywhere I go now, Billy comes there. Um, you know, 24 hours a day at the moment. We had a few death threats. Some idiot up Birmingham says he's going to cut my head off. Unfortunately. This is what Brexit's doing to people, you know, it's making them very annoyed. Uh, I have no choice. So, this is him. Want veel Brexit-stemmers zijn bang dat hij met deze rechtszaak Brexit probeert tegen te houden. All we want is the government to be transparent about what's happening. At the moment, I feel like we're jumping out of an aeroplane and going to organise a parachute when we get near the bottom. And we can't do that, you know. We've got to get it right now. If not, it's going to be uncertainty, disaster. Hi right, fella, I'm Charlie. Yeah. You alright? Yeah, yeah. Good man, yeah, we're gonna sort your shower out, yeah? Yeah. Right. Uh, this is where it's all happening. This right. is it. This is the old one that's come out. I don't believe that, you know, Brexit's gonna make life any better, you know. You know, a lot of people are not getting a fair deal. You know, I'm a great believer we should look after people that, that need the help. Yeah, thank you. Nice one. Thank, thank, you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. We've all got to be drinking from the same teapot on this one. And if we're going to Brexit it, yeah, let's get on with it and let's start making things better. But what we don't want to do is an hard Brexit and make things worse than what they really are. Oh. Daarom hoopt hij ook het hoge beroep in de zaak volgende maand te winnen. This is another one of them stupid threatening letters. How stupid I am. Brexit means Brexit. Get into your thick head. You look like a scarecrow anyway. <laughs> That's, that's the best bit in there. Mullins houdt van aandacht, spotlights gezien worden. Zijn kantoor hangt vol met foto's van hem met beroemdheden. En hij is een graag geziene gast op de feestjes van de conservatieve partij. Is David Cameron there, the, the former prime minister. Unfortunately, he done a referendum and I believe the public was misled. And uh, if, if all the lies wasn't told, he'd still be in government now and we would be booming. Een ander cruciaal moment. Boris Johnson die voor het Leave Camp koos. You know, I ain't stupid. The public ain't stupid. I know Boris very well and this was his move to become prime minister. Unfortunately, he messed up. What these people need telling, you know, they they fucking their country up, you know. Um, and Boris knew. Well, of course he did. You know what I mean? Of course he did. Um, that's right. The one guy who's not on the wall is Nigel Farage. I, he's a prick, isn't he? Um, 
you know, he, all he is is a troublemaker, waste of time. Uh, he's not even an MP, you know what I mean? He's just a troublemaker. Brexit gaat geld kosten en flink ook. Daarvan is Mullins overtuigd. I feel it's an unnecessary area that we're going to. And, you know, at the moment we're 30% up this year on last year. I don't know whether we can continue that growth, you know. I, I think this is going to be the biggest financial setback in the history of Britain. Three, two, one. Maar het houdt hem niet tegen om aan heel Londen te laten zien wie de meeste feestverlichting aan de gevel heeft hangen. Wow, fucking hell.